Hey, it's Erin. Today I'm doing a follow along workout on Instagram Live. I thought it would be fun to post to YouTube also. I had a two camera situation going on, so I'm looking at the other camera the majority of the time, but the information is awesome. These are three circuits you can do anywhere. You just need a set of dumbbells. I share some really helpful tips to make the best out of your at-home workouts. I'll go ahead and leave all of the exercises in the description below so you can follow along. You can also screenshot it for later use. Without further ado, let's train. Hey everybody, it's Erin Stern with Team Diamond Ties, and we are going to do an at-home workout. So, grab your dumbbells, grab some water jugs. I have these 10-pound uh, dumbbells that I got from Play It Again Sports. They're retro, but they work. If you don't have dumbbells, these will do the trick. They're about eight pounds, and you can do a ton of exercises with them. Okay, so when you're working out at home, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. You wanna make sure, since you're used to lifting heavy, obviously 10 pound dumbbells aren't gonna cut it. So what you wanna do is switch to primarily single arm or single leg exercises. Really focus on that negative portion of the rep. Do some isometric holds. That time under tension is going to be so important. Hey everybody, it's so good to see you. <laughs> so we're, we're, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go through a series of circuits. We're gonna combine a lot of exercises, get that heart rate up. We're gonna do some single leg stuff, some single arm stuff. All you need are the dumbbells and just a small area, like what I have here. So let's go ahead and start with a quick warm up. I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so let's get going with this warm up. What we're gonna do is start to get the blood pumping. So we're gonna do some side steps. If you want, you can run in place, whatever you feel comfortable with. But I like to start with just some small movement and then start to pick it up from there. So what you wanna do is do some air squats. So we're gonna do about 15 of these. And again, we're just getting warmed up. So whatever gets the blood pumping and helps you feel good. So no weights right now. And <laughs> if you're like me, you lose track. So I think that's probably about good. <laughs> So from here, what we're gonna do is a little bit of track and field type stuff. What you don't wanna do is static stretching because static stretching creates micro tears in the muscle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of high knee pulls. So you can do that. You can do some hip circles just to get nice and loose. Um, if you have the room, you can do some high kicks. So. Feel free to just start getting a little bit more mobile. And then I like to do some butt kicks. So you can do about 20 seconds of butt kicks. But I don't want to get so out of breath that you guys can't uh, understand me. <laughs> so after the butt kicks, the last thing we'll do is we'll go into our high knee drill. And you'll do this for about 20 seconds. Now with the high knee drill, think about bringing your knees up to right about parallel, maybe a little bit higher. Dorsiflex the feet, relax the traps here, and you're gonna swing opposite arm, opposite leg. Just like that. And you'll try to stay in just one place. So it looks Something like this. So do that for about 20 seconds. And then we're gonna get into our first circuit. Now the first circuit, we're gonna be doing skater squats. 
Then we're gonna do a B stance RDL. Then we're gonna go into a split squat with a, it's a goblet hold. And then we'll finish out the circuit with a Cossack squat. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. So the first exercise is a skater squat. If you haven't done these before, feel free to substitute them with a reverse lunge. So just holding the weight here and slowly lowering your body back. And I like to alternate legs, so nice and slow. And you're gonna do eight to 10 reps on each side. Now, very important when you're doing this, really focus on keeping that knee in line with the toe. So what you don't wanna do is you don't want to allow that knee to cave in. So nice and slow. And again, eight to 10 reps per leg. The more you can control that negative portion, the better your results are gonna be. So really focus. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into our B stance RDLs. This is also called a kickstand RDL. So you're gonna start with one leg and place the toe of your other leg near the arch of your foot. So keep your back nice and flat. And then you're just going to lower your body, keeping your back flat and come back up. So let's do 10 reps here and then we'll switch legs. And again, really think about controlling your body on the way down, sticking your hips back and then think of your hips as the hinge right here nice and slow and slow on the negative but you can come up a little bit faster and i like to keep that constant tension on the muscle that's why you see i don't come back like this i stop right about here and one more and i'm going to switch sides now when you switch sides make sure you're doing it exactly the same on the other side So nice and slow, back flat, keeping your shoulders nice and level. You don't want your shoulders to round at all. Good job. So again, if you have those water jugs, you don't have dumbbells, grab the water jugs, grab anything that's heavy, doesn't matter. Two more. Last one. Good job. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop one of these dumbbells and I'm going to hold this in a goblet right here like this. So you can see, <laughs> and we're going into a split squat. So since I started on the left leg, I'm going to put the left leg forward. Now what you want to do with the split squat is you want to make sure, so I'm going to stop here for a second, make sure that everything is at right angles. So you'll notice I've got a right angle here and I've got a right angle here. So this is a great position and my knees are behind my toes. So from here, just going to come up and now when I come down, just stopping before the knee touches the ground. So don't let your knee touch the ground. You're going to keep that constant tension. And I'm thinking about moving my body with just this leg, actually just this glute. So really push and push through the heels. So slow and controlled. And you want to keep that constant tension. We're going to do 10 reps here and then we're going to switch sides. Okay, so when you're switching sides, 
pay attention to where you're standing. So I'm going to do a mirror image of what I did on the other side. Back to the goblet and you can check your form. So here, make sure you've got a right angle here and a right angle here. Weights pushing through the heels, body nice and tall. And let's go. And if you're going nice and slow, you really feel it. I'm glad I'm not close to the phone because I'd be like, <sighs> good, two more. Okay, so the last one is a Cossack squat. And you can either grab both dumbbells or just one or just one of the jugs. And for this, you're gonna stand feet about twice shoulder width. You can hold the dumbbell here. You can hold the dumbbell here. Um, you can hold both dumbbells like this. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna stay low and you're going to do a side lunge, stay low, stay low, stay low, side lunge, just like that. So 20 reps total here, and the whole time push your weight through your heels. So you're just gonna go back and forth, and you should really feel it in the glutes, the quads, and the hamstrings. So keep it going. Yep, weight through the heels, nice and even. Couple more, and your heart rate should really be pumping. Good job. Okay. So hopefully you like that first one. <laughs> um, what I'll do in the comments is I'll add the workouts. So you're able to follow along later if you would like. Let's see here. So we have two more circuits and the goal for today is to do total body. So we're working a little bit on strength, we're working a little bit on endurance, we're gonna get that cardio in. And while I think it's very hard to gain muscle when you just have a set of dumbbells, <laughs> it is very possible to maintain and it's very possible to even get leaner at home. So if you're stressed out that the gym is closed, if you're worried, I think that it's all about perspective, right? So you can choose to look at the negatives or you can look at this as an opportunity. It's an opportunity to, to train in ways that you ordinarily wouldn't be training. So a lot of times we hit plateaus if we're doing the same thing over and over again. So let's look at this as a way to reset, a way to look at new ways to train and um, the possibilities are really endless. So. And the other thing is, is that we're in this together, right? So we're all feeling <laughs> that we're missing the gym and can be lost for a little while, but it doesn't have to be that way. And a lot of other fitness experts have posted their workouts. So you have a ton of free resources and um, everybody is just trying their best, just like you are. So. If you're out there training and you're making it happen, cheers to you and congratulations, you are crushing it. So, okay, so that was a good recovery. Let's get into our next circuit. I actually have my notes right here. So if you're wondering what I'm looking at, it's the, uh, it's the notebook. <laughs> the next one is thrusters. Then we're gonna jump right into renegade rows with push-ups to upright rows. And then we're gonna do biceps curls to underhand press. So it's a little bit different variation. We're gonna throw in some exercise combos here. This is gonna work a little bit of the push and the pull. And again, we're gonna get that cardio element. So circuit number three, put this notebook down and let's get to it. So the thruster I'll demonstrate first and then we'll go right into it. 
What you're gonna do is grab your dumbbells, grab your jugs, and you're going to get into your squat position here. And then from the squat position, you're going to power up with the dumbbells. Bring them back down, keep your elbows underneath the weight. So you wanna always have your elbow under the weight. And then you're gonna go right back into the squat position. So explosive and then controlled on the way down. So we'll do 10 to 12 of these. It's a really great way to, it's a total body workout right here. So let's do 10 really quick. To our next one which is renegade rows with push-ups so this is a combination and let's see I'll get back a little bit gonna get into a plank position gonna row row push up just like that so you're gonna do about 10 of these total making sure you stay in that plank position throughout push-up you want to make sure that your elbows stay sort of um, close to your body so that's how you want to do that okay so the next one we're gonna go into is an upright row and I guess what we can do is while we're here you're just going to pull the dumbbells straight up and with this think about keeping your shoulders down what you don't want to do is you don't want to do this. You want to almost pull through the elbow and I like to keep my wrists nice and straight. So you don't want to do this. You don't want to be out here. You want to be just like this. And I would say 10 to 15 of these. Then we're going to go into our biceps curls and from here we're just going to go to an underhand press so combo curl press and just like that and of course this is going to work those biceps it's going to work the front delts hitting that total body workout right here you can also do these standing if you'd like so 10 reps here and every time make sure the rep is deliberate slow and controlled one more okay so that was our circuit number two good job we have one more circuit left and the last circuit, we're going to be doing some isometric holds with the lower body along with some strength moves for upper body. So <laughs> that's a great way that you can actually continue to make progress. Is again, we don't have those heavy weights to lift. So by doing isometric holds, you're able to really tax the muscle just using your body weight so it's four exercises again and i want you to really focus on holding in the same place and then you're going to focus a lot on that upper body form now with these circuits you can go through each one of them or you can go through each circuit three times and then move on to the next circuit so again, I'll leave it in the description so you guys can screenshot it and have it. It's super quick, 30 minutes and you're done. So let's, uh, let's get into this last one here. So I'm gonna grab my dumbbells and the first exercise that you're going to do is an isometric squat with a shoulder press. So feet one and a half times shoulder width 
upper body nice and tall. I'm going to get into that squat position and then I'm just going to do the shoulder press. And shoot for 10 to 12 reps here. If you wanna make it more difficult, hold one side and then press the other and alternate. So that's one way to make it a lot more difficult. Just like that. Okay, so that was the first one. The second one we're gonna be doing is a plie squat to a curl. So feet are gonna be about one and a half times shoulder width again. You're going to get into that plie squat, arms out in front of you, and you're just going to curl the weight, but really control everything. So control that core, keep your upper body nice and tall, and keep your arms out in front of you. Weight should be on your toes. <laughs> Two more. Good. Okay. So that one is probably one of the toughest ones in the entire circuit, I think. So the next one we're gonna do is a bit over reverse fly. This of course is gonna work the rear delts and if you've been training your upper body, you want that extra little bit of size here that's gonna make your waist look even smaller. This is the exercise that you wanna do. So I'm gonna get into um, a bent over position here. I'm gonna keep my back nice and flat, keep the core tight, and then I'm just going to bring the dumbbells up. So just like this, 10 to 12 reps. Perfect. Now notice there's no momentum. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to do that. You want to keep everything nice and slow and controlled. And then really control that negative. So you can hold it up here if the weight's really light and then control the weight on the way down, explode on the way up and hold. Just like that. Okay, now the last one we're gonna do is an isometric sumo squat to triceps extension. So feet should be about twice shoulder width. I'm gonna get into my sumo squat, arms directly over my head. I'm going to lower the weight and I'm trying to keep the upper arm nice and still and really control the, the dumbbells. And you're, you wanna do 10 to 12 reps here. Good, two more. Good. Okay, so those are our circuits. And if you like, you can add in some cardio afterwards. And if you're not familiar with Tabata, what you can do is um, a Tabata. And it's four minutes total, 20 seconds all out, 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds all out, 10 seconds rest. You're just going to repeat that for a total of four minutes. And you can use any exercise combination. I figured I would show you guys a couple of them. I catch my breath a little bit. As you know, it's hard to do a circuit, but of course, when you're talking and doing the circuit, <laughs> it's even harder. So, um, some of the exercises you can do for Tabata. First one is a pop squat. So, from your standing position, you want your hands somewhere up here, feet together, and then feet one and a half times shoulder width. You're gonna jump out here to a squat, jump back. So that's the first exercise. You would do this for 20 seconds, and then you're going to rest for 10 seconds. You can do nothing but pop squats, nothing but, let's say, burpees, nothing but mountain climbers. So, 
you want to do mountain climbers, you're just going to get into your plank position and then you're going to drive your knees up as fast as you can. So that's your mountain climber. <laughs> and then um, another really great one is a scissor jump. So if you're not familiar with that, you're just going to start feet together and opposite arm, opposite leg. So it's just like that. That's a great one. High knees is another great one that you can do. That was part of our warm up and jumping jacks, of course. And um, you can do step ups. So let's say you have a sturdy chair or a bench, then your options are pretty much endless at that point. So it really just depends on, you know, your, your current environment and how creative you are. Another thing that you can do, going back to the single leg exercises, I'm gonna turn just a little bit, is you can do your single leg squats. So single leg squat, and I'm gonna use the, the couch here as a spot. You're gonna put one leg out and you're just going to squat down and come back up again. So you can do that on both sides. So you're going to squat down, come back up. That's another really great way to use your body weight to make the exercises incredibly more difficult. <laughs> so um, think about that. Think about your step ups. Think about Bulgarian split squats. So that's simply putting one foot back here and then you're just going to slowly lower your body just like that. So that's another single leg option, which is fantastic. So you have a ton of different resources at your disposal and this is just body weight and dumbbells. Think about if you have um, resistance bands, you know, resistance bands and a step or a bench, then you're really, really in a good spot. Now, the other thing for cardio you can do is um, you can do a dumbbell swing if you'd like, um, or you can do a water jug swing. So if you're familiar with the kettlebell swing, all you would do is just like that. So that's a great move for your Tabata. It's a really great move for any of the circuits if you wanna add in that cardio um, element. And that's what I recommend, is taking some of these single leg strength moves, loading them in the front of your workout like we did. So when you're nice and fresh, you wanna work on having the single leg exercises because those are going to require quite a bit of balance. So. The balance is needed for single leg exercises. So I would do um, the warm up, which we did, your single leg exercises, move on to total body strength moves from that point. Then you can move on to your Tabata and your cardio based stuff. So um, structuring an at home workout would look something like that. Let's say you wanted to work in um, a little bit more glute work and that's perfectly fine. You can use the couch, you can use a sturdy chair for that, and all you would do, going back to your single leg stuff, is single leg hip thrust. So you're basically have your upper body on the, on the uh, couch here, and then one leg up, so you're here. So it would look just like that. So you can do single leg hip thrust, you can do single leg glute bridge, you can do all kinds of leg lifts. So that's always a possibility too. Let's see, do we have any questions? So, yeah, yeah, so while we're all at home, 
we really just have to make the best of the situation, right? So um, if you'd like to see more workouts like these, please let me know in the comments. And of course, I'll share this workout. It's a great one. Um, we went kind of half speed and I'm still, still sweating. So that's a good sign. So um, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Keep up the great work. Stay strong, stay safe, be creative. This is just a temporary thing and we're often not aware of how incredibly strong we are until we're faced with adversity. And when we're uncomfortable, that's where the changes are made. So don't get down on yourself. Don't be upset that this is an uncomfortable time. It's uncomfortable for all of us. But this, this is where a lot of the great changes are made. This is where results are made. And if you stay strong and you push through, you're gonna be so much stronger on the other side. So again, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.